Hello everyone, my name is Trevor Bragg here to give you everything you need to know about living in Phoenix and today we have a great breakdown of the four different sun cities that are here in the Phoenix area. These are all 55 plus communities. They are probably the best known of any of the 55 plus communities. That is because the original Sun City kind of pioneered that 55 plus active adult community into the Phoenix area and really across the nation it was really one of the pioneers in the industry. And we have four of them in Phoenix and they are different from each other and maybe that is confusing to you. You're wondering why is there a Sun City West and a Sun City? Are these the same thing? Are they different? Are they connected? All of those are great questions that I will answer today and really by the end of the video I want to give you a good breakdown of the four communities and maybe give you an idea of which one may be best fitting for what you are looking for because they are very different from each other. Sun City Festival is nothing like the original Sun City and so I want to explain that today. I have this amazing tool if you want to just go to my website it's on the screen here it's also in the link below and you can input what you are looking for in a 55 plus community here in the Phoenix area and this tool will tell you which community fits your needs best. So if you really want mountain views or if you really want to stay in the East Valley you can add in all those different things even add in the clubs you're looking for and it will tell you which community is best for you. So just go to that link and, and you can get that tool. It is 100% free. It's just to help you figure out which community is best for you. So now let's break down these four Sun Cities. And for you to kind of understand the basics of it, Sun City is the original one. Just the full name Sun City, that is all it is called. It is actually a city of itself here in the Phoenix area. And if you can see it on the map, it's right next to the 101. And this is a massive community, by far the largest 55 plus community. Again, it is a full city. There are 23,000 homes in this city and it is large. As you can tell, most of these 55 plus communities are seeing 5,000 homes. This one has 23,000 homes. It was originally built in 1960 is when it first opened. Homes were continuing to be built all the way to 95, but really most homes were built between the 60s and 70s of the original Sun City. So now once this city kind of really fully built out what it had for land, the developer, which is Dell Webb, they decided to buy another land development and start Sun City West. These are two completely different communities. They are not related to each other. One can't use the amenities of the other, and really they aren't super close to each other. I mean, they're maybe 10 minutes across, but they aren't hugging each other when it comes to city lines. And Sun City West, you have to cross over the wash and you will get over there. And this is, again, a 55 plus community starting around 1978 is when it was first built. And they ended in 1997. So off the bat, you can start to see just by home styles alone, you can start to see that Sun City West is about 15 years newer than Sun City on average, so that in itself is going to be a different, you'll see a slightly modern build styles in Sun City West, especially when you get to that north side of Sun City West, you'll start to see tile roof homes, more open floor plans, things like that. And then again, this community was built out and so Dell Webb decided to buy another plot of land. They are seeing how much demand these 55 plus communities have and they opened Sun City Grand. This was opened in 1996, so one year before Sun City West started building, as you can see, they progressed and it was built through 2005. Again, you can see the difference just off the year alone. Sun City Grand, which is now just called The Grand, it's still the same community, but it's just called The Grand now, dropped the Sun City for whatever reason. The Grand is about 15 years newer than West, and then 15 years newer than the original Sun City. And then lastly, this community that is still being built out is Sun City Festival, and this is way to the west. So the other three, uh, Sun City easily being the most central, then Sun City West and Grand are in surprise. And then this is actually out in Buckeye. They all kind of follow a line along Bell Road, uh, but all the way out in Buckeye is Sun City Festival. And you can see it on the map. It is really its own community right now. There is an all-age section of this as well, but it is its own community over there, about 15 minutes from the closest neighborhood. And these homes were opened in 2006, and they are still building plenty today. There are tons of new builds still available when it comes to spec homes or building from the ground up. They have a lot of options. I just made a video a couple weeks ago on every model home they have. So if you're interested in festival, you can check out that video. And festival is going to be by far the newest. Their amenities are going to be brand new. They're going to be less than 15 years old. And you can see the theme. Festival is probably an average of 15 years newer than Grand. Grand 15 years newer than West and West 15 years newer than Sun City. So right off the bat, you can see there are two main differences between every single community that is going to be location and then the age of homes. And Sun City, if you are wanting a most central location that is easily gonna be your best option, you're maybe 20 minutes to the airport, uh, 30, 40 minutes over to Scottsdale, you're gonna be the most central right along the 101 and you're really close to Westgate, which is where the Arizona Cardinals play, maybe a 10 minute drive to there. So if you're looking for things like spring training, football games, all that good stuff, Sun City has the most central 
actual of locations. The others are more in the West Valley, more further deep into it. Uh, West and Grand are plenty close to downtown Surprise, which isn't really like a hustle bustle downtown. It just has restaurants, shops, all that stuff right there. Everything you would want to do on a daily basis, but none of the big entertainment like concerts or sporting events, although they do have a spring training field over in Surprise as well. And then festival is kind of on its own. That's going to be if you want a more remote lifestyle. They have amazing mountain views, but it is a quieter lifestyle. You got to drive 15 minutes to a grocery store. Um, so that is a different lifestyle that you're getting there than the others. And festival by far is the furthest from kind of the big things to do in the Phoenix area. Now let's talk about prices between these four communities. So we see age, we see location. What are the different prices? Now Sun City, it is the oldest. Uh, although it is the most central, it is easily going to be the lowest price. A median sale price of around 350000 in Sun city that's one of the best across the phoenix area for what you're getting usually when you're in the the mid to low 300 you're probably in a not so great higher crime rate area across phoenix sun city is not that way obviously it's a 55 plus community it's not going to have as high crime rates as downtown phoenix and so you are getting that bonus for a much lower price now you are getting a much older home as well likely built between the 60s and uh, early 80s is where most of their homes were built and then along with it being the lowest price for the home prices, it also has the lowest rec center fee of around 525 per year for two people. So that is for the household. And if only a couple are living there, it's 525. If you have four people living there, you're gonna have to pay an additional fee, but only 525 for the year. And there are no HOA fees in Sun City. You do have deed restrictions. So that's why people can't you know, park cars all along the streets and uh, you have to maintain your front yard, stuff like that. But there is no actual HOA in the community. Now there are different sections where there's townhomes that it can be ex very inexpensive, maybe 180 grand for a townhome, but then you do have a $200 HOA fee because they're maintaining the outside, all that stuff. But for the most part, single family home, no HOA, only 525 per year for their rec center. And that gives you access to all of the rec centers in Sun City. You're likely just gonna go to the closest one to you, but you have access to all of them. When we move over to Sun City West, you're gonna see the median sale price get up to 425,000. And that's going to be almost a hundred grand difference than Sun City, about 85,000 difference on the median sale price. And then also their rec center fee is 540 per person per year. So if you have a couple, that's actually double the price. That's still very inexpensive when it comes to when you consider typically a rec center, when you're getting all the amenities, all the great clubs, the fitness center, the pools, all that good stuff. And you're only paying a hundred bucks a month for two people. That's not bad at all. That's, that's not too crazy off from what gym prices would be, let alone getting to live in the community and it goes a part of your HOA fees. Similar to Sun City, there is no actual HOA fee. It is just deed restrictions, but you do have to pay into that rec center fee. Again, you get access to all their rec centers, all their great clubs, all that stuff is totally included very easy to get involved in these communities. And maybe the difference between Sun City and Sun City West is that Sun City will have more in terms of clubs, just mostly due to the scale of the community. But overall, these are very similar. They have tons of clubs, over a hundred different clubs. So whatever you're into, car restoration, bunco, anything like that, they have a club for you that you can get involved in and meet people. These two are gonna have the most clubs, mostly due to the size. The other two are gonna be on a smaller scale when it comes to Grand and Festival, smaller scale than West and the original Sun City. Now, when we go to Grand, we see the median sale price jump up all the way to 540,000. You can see there is a lot more demand in Grand than in the others. That is mostly due to the age of the home and the floor plan style that you can get. A lot of homes in Grant are gonna be open floor plans. They're gonna have uh, you know, two beds and a den, exactly what people are looking for, that type of setup. And it's overall, it has a little bit higher end of a feel in the community. You drive in, you have this lush grass golf course, you see water, you see palm trees, all that great stuff is right when you enter in. So it has a really nice high end feel to it. It's clubhouses are gonna be newer as well. So overall, a slightly higher end feel at Grand. And that comes with the price of 540,000, that's two 200 grand more than Sun City and over 100 grand more than Sun City West. The HOA fee is 150 per month. This does vary. There are some sections inside of Grand where they maintain the front yard for you, do all your bug and spray and all that stuff. And so that will be a little higher, but most homes are 150 per month which is gonna be about $500 more per month than the other communities. There is no additional rec center fee, so that is included in your HOA. Uh, so it's actually not too far off from Sun City West, but it is about $100 more a month compared to the original Sun City. That is for two people. And lastly, Sun City Festival. The median sale price is gonna be 490,000, which is a surprise, right? 50 grand less than Sun City Grand despite having brand new homes. And well, there's a few reasons for that. And the number one reason being the location. It is 15 minutes, like I said, 
15 minutes apart from the next closest neighborhood. So you aren't in a central location, whereas Grand, you can drive across the street. You got 10 different restaurants. You got your grocery store right there. You're right down the street from spring training. It is a much more central location. And so Festival, you're going to get your most bang for your buck if you're wanting the newest home, the most modern floor plan, all the nice upgrades, you know, nice floors, granite countertops, all that stuff and stay under 500 grand. You could easily do that in Festival and Sun City Grand. That might be a little bit more difficult of a find to get a fully up updated home. Similar to Grand, the HOA fees range right around 140 to 160 a month. It kind of depends on where you live in the community, but right around that same price range. And again, that gets you access to all their rec centers, all their amenities, all the clubs, all that good stuff. So if you're looking kind of on a price scale, you can see Sun City easily going to be the lowest price. And then West is going to be your next best option. And then Festival after that. And then Grand kind of being the cream of the crop of these Sun Cities when it comes to uh, the highest prices and overall probably your best uh, location and home home style that you can get while getting a very nice community still there is a good reason that grand has the higher price range it's one of the most desired 55 pluses in the phoenix area it's one of my top recommendations whenever someone is considering these 55 plus they describe to me what they're looking for sun city grand is almost always on that list for them because i do love this community and it does have some pros that the others may not when it comes to overall amenities, they are all a Del Webb community, so they're going to have a lot of things in similarity. When it comes to, they have tons of clubs offered. They're going to have uh, amazing rec centers with indoor pools, outdoor pools, fitness centers, all of that good stuff they're going to have included. And so maybe when comparing these amenities, a few things to look at would be if you're looking for a more specific club, you know, something that's maybe not as common as, you know, playing Bunko or car restoration, those type of more niche clubs you will find in the other larger communities communities like Sun City and Sun City West, you may not find those in Grand and Festival. Or if you're looking to play competitive pickleball, a place like Grand or West may be your best option because they're right across the street from where the huge championships are played for pickleball and these communities are known for having really competitive pickleball. Overall though, one main thing of the amenities is the age of them. So Sun City, I would say maybe has the lowest end amenities and that's not because they're not nice, they are amazing. It's just they're not gonna be as updated across the board. They have multiple clubhouses, they have done some great renovations to a few of them, but not every single one. Sun City West, 15 years newer than Sun City, you're gonna see more updates there in their amenities. They do have an amazing RH Johnson, that is their main clubhouse and that has everything you can imagine when it comes to amenities. It, it literally has a full bowling alley, a huge pool table room with dozens and dozens of pool tables. They got tons of pickleball courts. They have a mini golf course there. Uh, they have swim laps outside and inside. They have all these different clubs when it comes to glass molding, jewelry making, model trains, all that stuff they have in one community center. And so that is gonna kind of be one of the largest and best community centers that I have seen but it is a little bit more outdated when you compare it to a place like Grand. It's gonna be a more modern rec center, so things are gonna look a little bit more modern, a little bit more upscale than West. It may not have as many amenities, but overall a slightly higher quality when you're in there, mostly because it's 15 years newer. And then Festival is gonna have by far the most modern, and in my opinion, the highest end amenities. It is amazing what they have done with their clubhouses there. Their pool feels like you're in a, a resort in Cabo. They got palm trees all around, mountains in the back. It is a very high-end rec center that they have, but it will have the least amount of amenities because it is by far the smallest community. So it is a little bit give and take. If you want more things to do, don't care too much about the you know highest end of amenities, but care about more things to get involved in, Sun City West and Sun City will be your option. If you want a little bit higher end of a community center, Grand and Festival may be your options there. And then lastly, golfing. So these do have a, a pretty broad range when it comes to different golfing here. Uh, Sun City actually has eight different golf courses. Some of those are gonna be just par three courses or executive courses, and they are gonna have plenty of par 72s as well. This is some of the lowest priced golf in all of Phoenix. It doesn't mean that they are terrible courses, but you can't expect to be on a luxury course when you're only paying maybe 30 to $50 to play around, where most courses in Phoenix are gonna be easily over $75. So you will get the lowest priced golf. There are memberships there to get unlimited golf and by far the best deals you can get in Phoenix or if you're living in the community and want unlimited golf in Sun City that's some of the best lowest price golf you can get and play every single day. Sun City West 
has seven golf courses. They're going to be a slight upgrade to Sun City in terms of overall quality, but honestly, they're fairly comparable. They do have a few more par 72 courses than Sun City. It is a slight upgrade. It also comes with a slight higher price, maybe 10 to 20 bucks more than Sun City, but overall, nice courses there. Again, you can't expect it to be luxury courses, but they are nice. They are playable courses. I've played them, and they are a fun time. You move over to Sun City Grand. They only have four golf courses. This kind of scales with the size of the community. Sun City West smaller than Sun City, so only one less golf course grand is much smaller than sun city west and so they only have four golf courses and overall these are going to be higher end courses than sun city west they are going to be more expensive you could see some get up to 100 bucks per round they have tons of beautiful lush grass they got palm trees they got nice lakes all around the golf course these are definitely the higher end of the three that we've mentioned so far and there's still plenty of courses four courses where it's not too crazy difficult to get a tee time you move over to Festival, this is gonna be the newest course, probably the nicest overall course. You get amazing mountain views. They do have some man-made lakes all throughout the course as well, but they only have 27 total holes, so three nine hole courses that you can play, and it is a little bit more difficult to get a tee time here. Not that you can't, and yes, residents do get a preference, but it is more difficult to get tee time, so if you're wanting to get the most golf for the lowest price, Sun City's your option. If you just wanna play maybe once a week or a few times a month, Festival is plenty nice and still going to be a pretty decent rate and you're not going to have too many issues with tea times where festival you could run into an issue if you're trying to get a tea time every single day you could see some days where you're not getting in there because they only have those three nine hole courses. So these four communities honestly are very different from each other and really what you're looking for depends on what price range you're looking for and what types of amenities matter a lot to if you're really looking for the nicest golf courses and want to play a ton. Grand is probably going to be your best option. If you're looking for maybe a lower priced home, you're just visiting here a few months of the year, want something lower priced but have access to all the amenities, Sun City is an excellent option for you. If you care mostly about the, the actual house and living in the home, all the upgrades and want the best bang for your buck, Festival is best for you. And then Sun City West is kind of conglomerate of all of those. You can get a more modern floor plan. You can get a larger house for your price and still have access to all the amenities. I wouldn't say Sun City West is maybe the best in any category, but it does do everything very well. And so that's kind of a good medium option for what people are looking for. And so at the end of the day, these are all four communities that I recommend. Dell Webb knows what they are doing in these 55 plus communities. And it just depends what you are looking for. If you want help kind of deciphering that, if you want to just tell me, hey, here's what I'm looking for, could you give me some recommendations? Give me a call or email. It is on the screen. I'm happy to help you out. I'm a realtor here in the Phoenix area, and I help people moving out of state into these 55 plus communities every day, even people in state. You see that plenty as well, hopping from one community to the other as they live here a little bit. They start to realize they may like one community more than the other. So do plenty of work in that. Again, I do have that tool online as well where it kind of breaks down which community may be best for you. There is a link in the description below. I'll pin it as the comment as well. And you could go there, type in what you're looking for in a community, and it will go through an algorithm to tell you here is what is best for you. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this made sense. Hopefully you now have a good idea of the four different sun cities here in the Phoenix area and help you make a decision if one of them is right for you. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos about living in Phoenix.